A recent study has found that Muslims living in Norway are far more religious than the Christians in Norway. 71% of the Muslims wholeheartedly believe in the existence of God, whereas this figure of the Christians stand at only 15%. Surprised? Do you want to know more? Then stay tuned to this video, as today we'll be taking you on a journey to the beautiful country of Norway and sharing some interesting facts about the life of Muslims living there. Regarding the percentage above, a researcher at KIFO, the Institute for Church, Religion, and Worldview Research, has pointed out that Muslims to this day still strongly believe in the basic tenets of Islam, whereas people who identify as Christians are mostly not aware of the basics of the religion. Muslims today still adhere to practices like praying, fasting, giving charity, etc., whereas other religions no longer participate in religious practices. The same study has shown that at least 46% of the Muslims in Norway pray at least one prayer a day, thereby proving that Islam is still being practiced. Also, when it comes to values and social norms, Muslims are a lot more conservative and do not support the woke ideas as much. All these facts would make any Muslims feel pride in our religion. But while the facts above are encouraging, the downside of the Norwegian community is that around one-third of the people are believed to be strongly biased against the Muslims. A lot of people have a strong dislike for Islam. Street Dawa videos on social media have shown that a large number of people know absolutely nothing about Islam, and some seem to show great aversion to the mere mention of the word Muslims. These people who communicated and interacted with the street Dawah were much more informed about Islam, and as a result, showed more affection and understanding towards their religion. These people agreed that there is a lot of deep rooted bias and bigotry in the country against Muslims. But getting knowledge and getting the correct information from the Quran and Sunnah can change people's perspective. This strongly suggests that a lot of people don't like Islam because they know nothing about Islam. All they know is what the media and the news show them. And we all know how negative all the information out there is. Some of the people who were interviewed expressed dislike for the way Islam treats women. They were of the opinion that Muslim men do not like women and keep them hidden and oppressed. What if these people read the Quran and found out how highly women are regarded in Islam? What if they knew all the rights that were granted to women under the leadership of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam? These people would surely change their minds. And you might be surprised to know that Muslim immigrants who are granted asylum in Norway are given mandatory classes on how they should behave towards Western women. The reason behind these classes is that most of the sexual assault cases against women have been through Muslim immigrants. This is very sad and disappointing as these men have cast Islam in a very negative light. Islam holds women to very high standard, and men are instructed to lower their gaze no matter what women wear. According to a survey, almost 50% Norwegian support the statement, Muslims largely have themselves to blame for the increasing anti-Muslim harassment. While the action of certain immigrants is condemnable, it is not fair to dehumanize the entire population of Muslims in Norway. Another reason for the hostility against Muslims is that people believe that there is a conspiracy going on behind the scenes where the Muslims are trying to take over the European countries. Some other surveys show that 39% agree with the statement, Muslims are a threat to Norwegian culture. There is actually an organization in Norway that work against Muslims called Stop Islamization of Norway. They have actively fought against the request by the Islamic Culture Center to broadcast the Aden in a local Oslo mosque. 
recent political parties have stated that they don't support any actions stemming from such conspiracies. They're not very keen on making adjustments in the society to especially accommodate the Muslims. Some of the examples they have quoted are that Muslim women insist on keeping hijabs on for passport photos. Norwegian people being expected to eat halal food when eating with Muslims at dinners or other occasions and Muslim girls needing separate swimming pools from boys. These adjustments that the government need to make causes antagonism towards Muslims. The fear of Muslims also stems from the fact that in the past, there have been serious incidents by radical that have massively affected the image of Islam. Events like attacking people during pride parades or Muslim women in Iran being penalized for not adhering to hijab have alienated the Norwegian people as these go against their cultural and social norms. But representatives of the Islamic community have defended themselves by stating that it does not fair for the whole Muslim ummah to be penalized for the actions of radicals or the strict laws of some countries. Muslim demonstrations against Salman Rushdie's book and caricatures in satirical magazines have caused people in Norway to believe that Islam is intolerant of freedom of speech and expression. And Norway is a country with a very strong clause for freedom of speech as they believe that it is one of the basic requirements of a democratic society. Therefore, when Muslims protest against incidents that are anti-Islamic, the country has to take a stronger stance towards them. These incidents are believed to be decisive for the information of the country's anti-Islam views. The good news is that the Ministry of Culture in Norway has initiated a plan to combat the prejudice against Muslims. They aim to make Norway safer for the Muslims, but without compromising their own values and belief system. They aim to encourage dialogue and the construction of sports and culture arenas for inclusion. They also aim to do research on the negative attitudes harbored by people for the Muslims and take steps to combat it. While it is encouraging to see the Ministry of Culture implement an action plan, it is also up to us as Muslims to do what is in our power to spread a positive message about Islam. We need to be vocal and share more information. And in today's digital realm, it is possible to reach far-fetched countries and audiences and influence them with our words. Also, we need to first and foremost follow our Prophet's footsteps and keep a check on our own actions. We need to ensure that our actions show the true spirit of Islam. In Norway, serious steps are also being taken by the Islamic community towards educating people more about the religion. Da'wah centers are being built, help spread the knowledge of our beautiful religion. We sincerely hope that the Muslims in Norway can find a way to feel more safer and more included in the Norwegian society. And we hope that all religions can respect each other's beliefs and not hurt people's sentiments in the name of freedom of speech. If you liked today's video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.